As the conclusion of the Diocese of Lango Convention 2024 draws near, an attendance of over 80,000 congregants has been registered. The host, Bishop Right Reverend Professor Alfred Olwal, expressed his appreciation to the organizing committee that worked hard to see this convention a success. These people have worked. They have sweated. They have sweated. I thank you all for sitting in all the meetings together with all these people. Thank you all for sitting in all the meetings together with all these people. Now I have understood. God has given us different gifts God has given us different gifts that we can organize an event in an international standard. The former Archbishop of the Province of the Church of Uganda, retired Right Reverend Dr. Henry Luke Orombi, acknowledged the people's hunger for the Word of God and promised to preach both in season and out of season. I believe nationally there is hunger for God's Word because several places are having this convention, the conferences. A week ago we were in Ibanda, Northwest Ankole, and we are doing youth ministry there as well. While we have the opportunity, we shall preach in season and out of season. 2024 is so unique because this particular convention has a phenomenal signs of God's favor. The former Archbishop of Jos in the province of Nigeria, Right Reverend Dr. Benjamin Kwashi, acknowledged the initiative by the Diocese of Lango of inviting religious leaders from the countries, which is strengthening the religious bonds between different countries. The older generation of the younger generation, who are people like Bishop Olwa, Bishop Manassas, and all the other younger bishops are beginning to build a team because the, the, num the people he has invited from Nigeria are all within the range of the younger generation. So the younger generation are meeting with other younger generations internationally. We don't know how God is going to walk the link. God is building a team for the future. His worship, Sam Atul, the head of Leite in the Diocese of Lango, who doubles as the city mayor, Lira City, acknowledged the lasting impression the convention is leaving on the people. And we believe by the time we come to the next convention, we shall be coming back to give testimonies of what we learned from this convention. And for us as a diocese, this is an opportunity where we all come back to like renew our, our faith, support each other, hold each other's hand to continue our walk of faith. Canon Grace Kisa, President Mothers Union for both Diocese of Lango and Northern Region at large, appreciated the mothers who left their homes to attend the five-day convention. I want to thank especially the mothers. It's not easy for a mother to leave her home for at least four or five days, but they have done it. I pray that God should bless all of us as we continue. crowd, we see that about 60% are the youth are the young people and 40 percent, if I may rate it, are the elderly people. The young people are the future of the church. And when you leave them outside, then it means that you will not have people to help the church in the future to come. The Diocese of Lango Convention 2024 will end tomorrow, 19th January 2024, with commissioning from the former Archbishop, retired Right Reverend Dr. Henry Luke Orombi. Linda Dina, Noman Conte, 4 News at 8. Amen.